I was asked recently um, by someone who was seeking out if homeschooling was right for them. And they asked me point blank, like, what is the most important thing that you're trying to emphasize in your homeschool family? I've been doing homeschooling for 10 plus years. And top tier importance, how you treat others through emotional intelligence, through relational intelligence, and job skills slash life skills. Because 90% of your kids' adult life is gonna be handling relationships, it's going to be handling adulting things like paying bills, making a simple meal, cleaning up your space, uh, handling you know emotional things, being flexible, learning how to handle conflict, all of those things. That is top tier. If, if my kids learn calculus and learn how to be an engineer and get top honors and go to Yale, whatever, but they don't know how to make a simple meal, know how to do laundry, uh, be in a long-term relationship, have a good conversation, be, be a great human being. I have failed. I have failed. And so if you're looking at, is homeschooling right for me? Or maybe homeschooling is not a good fit, but yet you still want to create those job skills and life skills at home as your um, educational standard for when you are home with your kids and when your kids are home with you in the summertime or on weekends or nights or whatever, please do your kids a favor. Give them the life skills, the coaching that they need to be successful in life. I mean, I'm 40, still having to handle conflict, still having to be in a long-term relationship. I've been married for, you know, 17 years. We've been together for 20. Stuff still comes up in our relationship. We still have to handle conflict. It's not all rainbows and roses all the time. We still have to work together as a team. And our kids are seeing us handle conflict and making sure we talk things through and sometimes we have to hash it out but some, we have to come together and have a common goal and a common you know teamwork mentality and that is so important for them to see and I just this is literally bringing me to tears the amount of studies that I've seen articles that I've seen recently where where 50% of college graduates cannot even have a conversation or look people in the eyeballs. 50%, almost 50% don't even know how to address appropriately to a job site. College graduates, we're not talking about McDonald's employees, we're not talking about Wendy's employees, we're talking about college graduates. Don't even know how to dress appropriately. Talk professionally on the job site, over almost half. Don't even know how to talk professionally on the job site. Like we're talking about like there's, there's work language and then there's you know hanging out with your friends language street language okay almost like almost half don't even know how to do appropriately you know professional language on the job and so I can't even tell you the importance of teaching life skills home skills job skills emotional relationship skills and how that is emphasized in my home every day from the start when they get up and they want to be rude when they no good no, you say good morning. We say good morning in this house. We work together as a team. We're all together. You can wash your dish after you're done. You can put that away. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I try to address the kids in ways that I would want them to, you know, be respectful for a future employer, future boss. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Sir, come here, please. I would like you to take out the trash. Like this is how I'm talking to my kids so I can see you know, them repeat this in a job site. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. We're going to hold the door open for someone. Yes, sir. We're going to make sure that we ask for help. Um, those types of things. So I am trying to model from the moment I get up until the moment those kids put their heads on the pillow, how we work in a family, how we work as a team and how we can build a relationship and be good humans. So there you go. There's my little morning pep talk, morning Monday motivation. Um, for those that are trying to emphasize something, don't know what to emphasize with the kids, that is what you need to be emphasizing. All right? If you want to follow for more homeschool content, educational content, I'm a former teacher with my master's degree, and I have learned and made mistakes through the process, and would love for you guys to come along with the journey. All right, bye guys.